Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin and today we are going to talk about Traceba and it is Know Your Medicine series. So, a lot of my patients ask me about their medications most of the time somebody else prescribed and they have major mistakes in how they do their medications. So let's talk about Traceba briefly and we will go to the practical aspects of how to do the Traceba. Now Traceba is a long-acting insulin it is designed to be released in 24 hours. It means that if you are taking 24 units, you are getting one unit every hour. Although it's a slow acting insulin, you still need to make sure that you are taking the correct amount. So it's very important that your endocrinologist or diabetes specialist should tell you exactly how to use the medication. Also, you may need to titrate your medication to a desired level without overdoing the insulin. This insulin has nothing to do with the meal time, so as a result, you may need to take other medications to control blood sugars, that blood sugar spikes that are happening right after you eat. Troceba is designed to keep your blood sugar stable by controlling the glucose coming out of your liver. So you may be wondering why my blood sugars are high in the morning, although I do not eat all night. That is because your livers are making blood sugar. Tada! It's not your fault. It's actually your liver. So if you control your liver, you'll do better. Now, on the other hand, physical activity and eating better can do the same thing. So sometimes you have to choose medication or a healthy lifestyle. Medications are there for a reason. Hopefully you never have to go on them. But if you do, here's how you take it. Now, we are going to do the demonstration of how to use a Traceba. However, if you want to know more about Traceba and the features and specifics of Traceba, you can click to this link so you can actually learn more about Traceba. For now, we are going to talk about how to use the Traceba in practice. Okay, so this is Traceba. Let's take it out of the box. Remember, this pen can stay outside eight weeks. You can keep that pen in the refrigerator until expiration date. Different brands have different instructions. There are insulin units on them, and you dial the desired amount of insulin that you want to take. Every insulin pen requires priming. You take the cap off. This is your pen needle, very small, it's just a, a cap for the, for the pen needle. And then you screw it on just like that. And then there's another cap for the needle. So you have to take that off as well. The needle is extremely small. For uh, needlophobic patients, that is good to know. And these needles are made extremely sharp, so that should not hurt good habit to keep the insulin outside when you're using the pen because the cold insulin tends to hurt. As you can see there's this one drop coming out. Now your pen is primed. From now on you can let's say you're taking 10 units. You bring it up to 10 with this pen dial and you can clean your skin but that's not absolutely necessary. And then you choose a spot, generally abdomen, uh, it could be back of your arms or your thighs. You do not have to pinch your skin if you are using a very tiny needle like this. And all you have to do, go directly into your skin and then push the pen at that plunger right there. And then you keep that pushed for at least 5 but up to 10 seconds. And this is how you press the plunger. There may be some patients who are having problems with dexterity and they can use their thumb. You can release it and pull it back. This apple is not absorbing very good but your skin will. A drop or so coming out, don't worry about that. And I would take that away and put in a container that you can secure the lid carefully. And after that you are ready for your next injection. Since we are back to zero here, next time you're dialing again you can go up to 10 units. However, remember before you do that, do two units of priming, push it see the drop and then go up to 10 units and then you do your real injection. You can dial it up and it can go all the way depending on the pen but this pen goes up to 80 units. Thank you everyone. Again this is Dr. Ahmed Ergen, founder of SugarMDs.com. Please check out our website and if you like this video give a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel so you can have more to come.